Hello and welcome to the first Google My Maps video tutorial for Fortism is School. So this is the Google Maps homepage. This is what it's looked like. Remember you're going to have to need this soon. Now to start off our own My Maps, you're going to have to sign in with a Google account. So here you have to go in the top right there's a sign in button. If you click on that this will bring you to this page. Now two options here. If you already have a Google account you can sign in here. If you don't, you're going to have to go to something called Don't Have a Google Account, Create an Account Now. Follow those instructions. But I have got a Google account and so I'm going to do this. Make sure that everything is correct. We don't want any spelling mistakes. And then just answer or insert your password. Sorry. Now if you've got a problem with your password, this will happen. And so you just have to make sure that you're extra careful. So, once you've got everything correct, it will bring you back to the Google Maps homepage, but this time you will notice that you're signed in. So, we're going to start our own My Maps, so you're going to have to click on the tab here that reads My Maps. Just click on that. This will bring you to a new section where it says, Created by me. I've already created a few maps, and so I've got a long list here, created by others, and featured content. Now the two important ones are Created by Me and Create New Map. The Created by Me section is for when you've already started creating a map and then have to leave it. We're going to use this later because this enables you to come back to a map you've already started. But since we don't have any others we want to start with, Create New Map. This gives you the option to title your map, so I'm going to call this Video Tutorial and then give a description of it for when people want to view it. This is a simple video on how to operate Google My Maps. Here it says public and unlisted. It automatically selects public because that's what most people will want to use. That's also what we want to use because that will enable other people to be able to see ours from other computers. But if you don't want anyone else to see this, you can click Unlisted. However, since I want you to be able to view this, I'm going to click on Public. So then we click Save, which remembers everything we've done, and then we can begin editing. <laughs> 